1886, they bought this Grays Hill property over by, again, over by Woodlawn in 1886. <coughs> they moved here from Cecil County, Maryland. I don't understand why they moved here. It's really odd because the, the parents of, were both 61 years old. All their family was in Cecil County, Maryland and in um, um, Chester County, Pennsylvania. So they didn't have any family here. Uh, I don't know that they had any friends here, but they just came here. Again, I don't know why. They were in their 60s, the parents. All the children were grown. The youngest child was Frank, and he was 22. All the kids came except for one. The oldest son lived in Pennsylvania. He was a grain broker. He stayed in Pennsylvania. He was in his 30s. But the other four children all came, and I'm just thinking these kids are in their 20s and 30s. They come with their parents to a brand new place. Again, I don't know why. <laughs> so, um, my dear son, the story is the letters they wrote, and it's, I t entitled it My Dear Son because it's basically the mother writing her son in Philadelphia, and she always says, My Dear Son. So, um, here I have um, this is a picture of Frank Wilkinson, Alice, Ballin or Alice Ballinger Wilkinson, and their son Charles Kirk Wilkinson. This is 1903. Um, Charles Kirk went by Kirk. And he looks like Opie here. I love this. That was 1903. Um, <coughs> Kirk is the one. Kirk inherited Woodlawn from his, from his um, mother in 1943. I'm sorry, not Woodlawn, Sherwood. So he's the one who started later, as he got older, selling off pieces of Sherwood for development. It was a 200-acre farm. It's now um, <coughs> Kirkside, which is named after Kirk, Wilkinson Place, which is named after the Wilkinson family. All of that was part of Kirkside. Holland Hills, a lot of Holland Hills was Kirkside. Um, they donated the land for Holland Me Meadows Elementary. That was part of Sherwood. So uh, a lot of the property around here um, but further, I'm sure Sherwood Hall Lane, closer to the river, closer to Fort Hunt Road, was Sherwood property. So, and that's why where these names came from, curbside with these places and so forth. So there was, um, so that, so this this Wilkinson guy from Maryland who lived at Grace Hill, then he married the, the woman who grew up in um, Sherwood. But the letters at the Grace Hill letters again talk about daily life and that's what that's what I really like about it because these people weren't generals and they weren't rich people they were just like regular people and they wrote about oh today I went to so and so's house and I did this and today so and so did that and there's some really interesting stories like some girl's um, buggy going in a creek and they thought they were dead and, and another girl like went insane, went crazy and ran away one night and no one find her and just really interesting there was an earthquake so there are all these really interesting stories, and then some stories about different parties they attended. And it's again, it's all in this general area, the um, Woodlawn area along the Potomac, along the Potomac River, and up this far into Sherwood. And this is just a picture of a gang. There's another picture in the book, but this is just a picture of some of the Wilkinsons at Grays Hill. They're just sort of hanging out in the grass. And this blur here is a dog. There's another <laughs> picture where the dog is clear. And so that's a, a couple of the men in the picture sort of looking at this dog like, oh, what are you doing? But in, um, but Morris Wilkinson, who bought Gray's Hill with his wife, Sarah, he died in 1897. So he was there for only about 11 years. But his wife outlived him somewhat. She died in 1910. Uh, then the children tried to keep the farm. They really couldn't. They ended up selling it. Um, one family, and I don't know how to pronounce their name, it's like Kenny F, it's K-E-N-E-I-P-P. -P. This family owned Grays Hill from 1917 until the Army took over in 1944, and they ran a bed and breakfast there for at least some time of their ownership. So the um, Army then, because Camp Humphreys was already there, and we'll learn about that, I'm sure, in a few minutes, the Army condemned Grays Hill in two different actions. First, they condemned condemned about 30 acres, and then they condemned the rest of the property. And um, they built what was called Grace Hill Village. Um, it's my understanding, but I, I haven't, I am a historian, and I haven't found evidence of this, though, that uh, the Army built it, built Grace Hill Villages, housing for African Americans during, um, during World War 
World War II because the Army base was segregated at that time. So I thought that was very appropriate that the Quaker house was for African American housing. But I did read a 1941 newspaper article about the, the base encroaching on these homes in the area, and it said that Grace Hill, the house, was going to be kept as a recreation center. So, um, it, but it wasn't. It was, it was torn down. Um, the Army finished an archaeological survey of the area last, um, or March of 2006, but they didn't have any evidence of Grace Hill, the house, because, um, because of the Grace Hill, the 1940s housing village that was there, and obliterated all traces of Grace Hill. So that's kind of the link between here and mm -hmm. Grace Hill, down, <laughs> down route one. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything? Kind of confusing.